Hello, welcome to Create Full Art. In this video, I'm going to share with you 50 flower paintings that you can paint along with me. Today, I'm going to teach you how to paint flowers. There are so many different kinds of flowers and so many different styles or ways to paint them. Also a great way to unwind, de-stress, and to express yourself. That's why I'm so excited to share with you these demos, tutorials, and lessons with you. If you would like to paint weekly, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so I can share my videos with you. This full painting workshop is going to teach you how to paint a realistic red poppy flower. If you want to learn how to paint realistic looking flowers, this workshop is for you. This next workshop teaches you how to paint a poinsettia so you can make your own Christmas decor or gather your friends for a paint night to enjoy the festivities, or you can gift this. Frangapani flowers are also beautiful and inspired by my travels to Bali. Displaying art that you have created is such a great way to remember those special memories. The lupin flower loves the cool mountainous areas and can be found in New Zealand. I love the pinks, blues, and purples in this flower painting. Before I show you more, I just quickly want to let you know that there is a link in the video's description and in the comments to where you can find all of these lessons. This lotus flower painting is inspired by my travels to Thailand. It's such a beautiful flower with cultural significance. Sometimes it's wonderful to paint flowers that remind us of home. In this tutorial, I teach you how to paint the fireweed flower, which is from my home that I lived for seven years in Alaska. I was born and raised in the deserts of Idaho, so it's fun to also paint something from where you come from. This blooming prickly pear cactus totally reminds me of where I came from. I want you to be able to paint your favorite flowers too, and one of my favorites is the daisy flower. In this tutorial, I teach you how to paint one. I also love tulip flowers, and this tutorial teaches you how to paint them. They just remind me of spring, and I love painting flowers from all seasons. Some of these workshops and tutorials are teaching you how to paint on canvas, sometimes on paper, but this one shows you how to paint on glass. I love how this wildflower painting gives you that stained glass look. Then of course there is the most popular flower to paint, roses. This rose painting workshop teaches you how to paint in a variety of styles, including realism. I just love the look of this elegant red rose painting. This next rose painting is a more loose and playful way to paint for a more impressionistic look. It includes red and pink roses painted in a more pattern-like way. You can also learn how to paint a rose in this simple pink rose tutorial. You can also paint this Baroque-inspired floral painting of these pink roses. I just love the deep, dark, rich backgrounds with the soft, bright, vibrant flowers that are from this art period. If you're loving these flower paintings so far, head over to createflowart.com where you can get five free art lessons. I mostly teach you how to paint with acrylics, but you'll notice that I have watercolor tutorials, sometimes oil painting tutorials, and other mediums. And in this old painting tutorial, I teach you how to paint a rose using oil paints. So far, I've showed you the lessons I have on how to paint favorite flowers. And one of my favorite flowers actually grows on trees. I love to paint cherry blossoms. So I have lots of those tutorials that you can enjoy. I have a cherry blossom painting workshop. And just remember in my workshops, I give you everything you need to succeed, including color mixing help, traceables, reference photos, written instructions, and full tutorials. This other cherry blossom workshop takes you on my travels to Japan and teaches you how to paint with acrylics and watercolors together. I love to make painting with me simple by simplifying my supplies. We use just a few brushes and colors, but in this painting tutorial, I show you how to paint this beautiful blossoming tree without any brushes. Using other supplies is so fun and creative. I love the dark background in that painting, but it also looks great to paint this tree on a white background. It's also fun to get loose and playful with our brush strokes, and that's what I show you in this cherry blossom branch tutorial. You can also use other supplies. Again, I teach you how to paint on glass. 
What's different about my painting lessons is that I want to teach you the skills to be able to paint whatever it is you want. And so I introduce you to new and fun ways to paint and supplies to paint with. The goal is to find your own artistic style based on your preferences so that you can express yourself and share your uniqueness with the world. If you're interested in learning how to paint, be sure to go over to createfulart.com and sign up for my five free art lessons to get you started. And keep watching because I have more gorgeous flower painting lessons to show you. Like this floral workshop that teaches you how to paint this elegant flower bouquet in a vase. That one teaches you how to paint realistically, but what if you want to get more playful and use vibrant colors? This flower painting tutorial teaches you how to paint those types of flowers in this fun looking vase. And I can even teach you how to paint flowers that are more abstract. I love this abstract floral painting with the dark background, vibrant colors and drips going down the canvas. And you know what? There is no limit to our creativity except the limits we put on ourselves. So why not put buttons on our paintings? I'll teach you how in this tutorial. And while I start you out with the basics of using acrylics, you take this knowledge into other mediums. So in this tutorial, I teach you how to paint these flowers, these geraniums in watercolor. And you can carry the lessons over to unique mediums such as Pabillo paints where you can use them for glass. And I teach you how to paint these peony flowers painting on glass with that unique medium. These are wonderful still life floral paintings, but what about flowers that are in nature? Sometimes we want to paint flowers in our landscape paintings. This painting workshop teaches you how to paint a lovely Japanese garden. And this workshop takes you down the alleyways in Greece and the beautiful flowering trees that you can find there. This workshop teaches you how to paint one of my favorite paintings and it's so simple to paint along. I love it because it's these fields of colorful wildflowers in the mountain. In this landscape painting tutorial, I teach you how to create unique textures using your palette knife. And of course, we want to add some flowers out there in that field with the palette knife. And did you know that I have visited and painted in all 50 US states? And in this painting, I demonstrate how to paint some flowers. Here are some other landscape scenes from places that I've traveled that include flowers as well. If you love animals because they're cute, and you love flowers because they're pretty, you're gonna love these. In this tutorial, we paint some birds with some flowers. This is inspired by an artist in Peru. And in this tutorial, we're gonna paint a lovely hummingbird getting some nectar from these beautiful wildflowers. And in this painting, you can learn how to paint a cute pink pig with these flowers all around it. Blossoms turn into wonderful fruits and they also make great paintings to put on your wall. So I have the orange citrus painting and I have a lemon citrus painting. And you know what? There is no right or wrong way to paint flowers. I've shown you painting tutorials that are from realism all the way to abstract and styles in between. And I wanna show you these other tutorials I have that will inspire you to get creative. Did you know that you can paint flowers in 15 minutes? Yes, you can. You can paint these red poppies very loosely with me. And if you like to get loose and playful, I have this tutorial that teaches you how to paint this abstract flower using watercolors. Ooh, and I have this other abstract floral painting using acrylics where we get loose and playful and use metallic paint to create a shimmer. And you know what? All of these paintings, if you're not feeling confident or you're feeling a little overwhelmed by them, can be done in your art journal first. I always emphasize paint in an art journal, explore in an art journal, experiment in an art journal, and you can do that along with me. That abstract painting that I just shared with you with the metallic paint, I painted that in my art journal first. I was able to figure out what colors I wanted to change and anything I want to change in composition and style before I put it down on canvas. 
every painting has a different method that creates a unique look. And if you want to try different methods, it's great to try them in your art journal. In this flower painting, I'm trying out a method that I have seen other artists use. And in this art journal video, I'm experimenting with different compositions in painting my favorite subject, cherry blossoms. And when painting flowers, it's really important to experiment with our brushes and practice our brush strokes so that we can get our petals to look the way that we want. So in these lessons, you can paint along with me in your art journal and practice those things with me. I will teach you how to paint a variety of flowers, the stems and the leaves. These tutorials, lessons, and demonstrations are here to teach you how to paint any type of flower that you want. My lessons are built to teach you the skills you need to know so you can paint in the way that you want. Let me know in the comments what your favorite flower painting was from this video. And if you didn't see a flower that you would like to learn how to paint, let me know.